we're basically playing our biggest motions, all right? So that's coming from here, and this is where we kind of usually do with our exercise, like our whole note exercise, kind of where we start out. So for the exercise, this particular exercise, I want you guys, so we're not going to go, mm, for today, for today, I don't want you to go all the way up to the ceiling, all right? I want you to basically kind of bring your bunchy up, but it's basically going to kind of be where you get to the point where you start to feel some resistance in your shoulder, all right? So I, for me, I can kind of get to about here, and then at this point, I can kind of feel like the muscle tensing up a little bit, and then I... If I'm doing this, I can really feel that muscle stretching. So for, so for some people, it might be at a slightly different point, all right? But if we're, if we're bunchy, you're here, and then we're bringing them up, right? Then if we're coming back down, they should be coming to the same spot, right? And they should be coming to the center of the drum. So that's why we always want to make sure that we're in our correct positioning down here before we come up, all right? So we're going to come up to this point. And the same thing that we did when we were using our elbow, all right, but now we're using our shoulder as well, we're kind of bringing the bocce down like this, all right, and then we're using that motion to flick at the end. So what we don't want is we don't want to bring our, uh, we don't want to bring our bocce down like this, and we're kind of dragging like the bocce towards us. What I want you to do is I want you to think that you're basically just trying to come down basically kind of trying to hit through the drum, all right? So if you're doing this motion where I'm not really moving so much of my elbow, if we're doing this motion, I'm not really, I'm losing a lot of, I'm losing a lot of power versus kind of coming down, all right, and then flicking at the end. The other thing to kind of be aware of with when we're doing bigger motions um, I am guilty of this, and it, it, I still have to think about this a lot, and especially when I first started. I would kind of, if I would kind of be a little bit off beat, I would kind of be like, <laughs> and what you do is you lose a lot of power. So when you're hitting this way, what you want to do is you basically, from when you come down, all right, you want it to be one smooth motion. You're letting gravity pick that, give that bocce momentum coming down. If we're kind of doing like this, then we're losing a lot of that potential power, all right? So we want to be able to move to a smooth motion. If you feel like you're off, adjust your timing for when you're up here, all right? For when you get up here, maybe you need to come up a little bit earlier, maybe a little bit later, all right? So this is going to be a little bit slower than the other ones, but we're going to do one, two, three, four, There's not going to be any like rests in between, all right? Okay. So from here, so one, and then rest, 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 two. One, two, sol, re. Two, three, four. 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 Last one. Two, three, four. All right. Let's do from our left hand. Starting here. One, two, so re. So now we're going to do both hands. So it's going to be 
one, two, up, sorry, from here, one, two, three, four, two, two, three, four, three, two, three, four. So we're kind of halving the number of hits, but our other hand still has like four in between. So one, two, three, four, two, two. But for our positioning for our bachi, I want us to be here. I want us to stay up, all right? So you're gonna one, two, three, four, four, two, two, three, four, three, two, three, four, four, two, three, four. All right, let's try that. One, two, sol, re.